is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast, episode 125. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time, generally weekly, talking with you about some element of life, the universe, and everything. I tend to release the shows on Monday, although last week my schedule was such I just couldn't do it. Today's show is one where I'm going to cover a couple of different themes. And the first one really starts off with a drive I did on Saturday to spend some time in service. Service is one of those wonderful things where I think, well, I know for me, it helps me get recalibrated and get a better perspective on life. I drove two hours each way to spend four hours supporting some guys who were helping to put on a workshop for others. And I had no role other than to help prep some meals and help serve some meals and be friendly with folks. And that was really it. No work like I normally do. Nothing intense whatsoever. And when I got back, I felt great. And I know when I check in with some of my friends who are running that workshop, they will feel the same way too. Find a place where you can serve. It just becomes a great gift that you give yourself all because you give to others. Seeing the pictures of the recent grads is a great reminder of the blessing of effort. Uh, One of my wife's nieces graduated with a a doctor of veterinary medicine degree. And seeing the pictures of everyone celebrating was wonderful. She put in a lot of effort, years of effort, not just simply in the classroom, but in practice as well. I'll simply say, folks, effort has a wonderful reward to it. It's not about the money. It's about the feeling of satisfaction at the time of completion. You don't know how much you've learned until you actually get out there and do it, but there's also that part that says, I did it, and how good that winds up feeling. Where can you put in max effort? Where can you, if it can't be max, where can you put in major effort sustained over a period of time in order to get to where you want to get to and have that feeling of accomplishment? Has to have a beginning, has to have an end. It just can't be one of these things that goes on forever. Just think in terms of where can you put full commitment to And where can you have that moment of knowing that you achieved something important to yourself? We'll be back in a moment after a word from our other sponsor. So many people I know find no difficulty whatsoever working. They put in full effort to their work and they get great results or no results. The hard place for most people I know is with having a little bit of fun, particularly while they're working. You see, when we think of job, it's J-O-B, job. It carries a template over it. It's hard. It's difficult. It's aggravating. But fun If we could bring some fun into our work too, fun into our lives as well, it doesn't feel quite as morbid, does it? And for so many folks, they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to laugh at themselves. They don't know how to enjoy things while they're in the struggle. I can assure you those students, they figured out a way. Why can't we as adults go back to that time where we laughed and played and worked and struggled and got through it with max effort? I'll simply say, folks, try it. See if you can do it. You may not be good at having some fun while working right away. And people may lift an eyebrow. You know that that certain parental look like you're bad. But you know what? Who cares? 
you're going to get more done. That's the amazing thing about it. The more fun you bring into it, the more you're going to get done. Amazing, isn't it? What's the risk to you if you try out one of these three things I've spoken about? What's the risk to you? What's the thing that might go wrong if you tried out serving others for a weekend or a day or an hour or put in maximum effort or had some fun at work? What could go wrong? I know most of you are going to say absolutely nothing. And you've listened to this show and maybe thought to yourself through each of these opening segments or these previous segments, hey, that sounds pretty easy to do. And then we'll wind up go going off and doing nothing. You know, it's not enough to listen and nod your head and agree. You have to do something with these ideas. You have to make some change and try different things. Otherwise, you just get more of the same thing. So, Give it a shot. Try something different. Pick one of these. Service. You could serve meals to people less fortunate than you. Max effort. You could just bust a gut for the next few days at work. Let's say you listen to the show on Tuesday. And now, Tuesday, Wednesday, you put in max effort and see how that feels to really push and get something done. Try it. Be of service to others. Have some fun. I know most of you can avoid that one because it's hard to have fun. Fun? Fun at work? How is that one possible? But just pick one thing. Not necessarily the hardest for you, but pick one thing to change over the next two days and notice how you feel. Try something new. You never know what the results are going to bring to you, right? So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show is going to be bite-sized morsels of advice just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you do choose to subscribe, I hope you decide to support the show. There's a link that will take you to anchor.fm where you can make a pledge in support of the show. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in my coaching you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show. I just happen to like knowing I'm helping some folks. And once we're connected, message me about your interest in, in coaching. We'll set up a free call. We'll get acquainted. See if it makes sense. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.